Hello you, welcome back to Geekism and welcome back to Project Hospital uh, where in the last episode we didn't actually get a hospital, we got a waiting room and you know, it's a start, I've just, we've got a random tree over there as well which we're going to get rid of. So, uh, in the last episode, where did where did the lady go? Did they disappear when we're in build mode? Yes they do, there she is. Uh, a receptionist is uh, up and running, uh, Dana Cole is pretty good. And, um receptionist, there we go. She's inter she's an intermediate receptionist. Um so that's that's good, I guess. Okay. So she's gonna sit there, she's gonna sort out people. Um, but we are gonna move on now and build our first GP's office. And it's actually gonna be pretty big because there is so much stuff to get into a GP's office in this game, it's crazy. So uh, let's just get a wall up. We're just gonna do plain walls until uh, we've decided a little bit more on uh colour. And what have you? Do we do two, or do we do two GPs offices? No, we'll do a big one, and I'll, and I'll show you how we're going to do it. Right, so I've had an idea. We're going to put a door in first of all, regular door. Um, oh, do we want like a glass? The glass doors are nice, but they're not very. They're not very. Um, you know, there's not much privacy, is there? So let's do one like that instead. Okay. Uh, right. So first of all, we have to select this to be a GPs office. Boop, like that. Okay, and I realise that we haven't actually got much of a waiting room near it. Um, so we might have to maybe make a little bit of the corridor a waiting room. I'm not too sure how it works. We'll, we're going to find out in a minute, but for now, let's just go back to uh, build mode. <clears throat> and if we, if we you now click on here, there we go, we can see what we need. So let's get our desk up and running first of all. Now one thing, <clears throat> excuse me, one thing I've noticed about uh, GP's offices, how I, how I always used to lay them out in Theme Hospital, and to the extent how I've been laying them out in Two Point Hospital as well, uh, is having the desk facing the door and people come in and sit opposite the the, uh, the GP. But that doesn't really seem to happen that often. Not, actually, what seems to be more likely is that the um, the, the desk sort of sits here, with an office chair in front of it and the PC on it. Um, where's the PC there? And then the the actual um, the, the the patient sits here. Uh, now I don't know if that's the same for for, for other countries or, or even other doctors, but the ones I go to, the, the, both the uh, the hospital and the local GP, which is kind of what we're building here, GP surgery. Um, they always have this kind of setup, so. I'm going to kind of go for that. They would normally have the PC on the other side, actually, but the, the hospital, the, the office desk is pretty much stuck on the, on the one side. So that's fine. Uh, so we'll have the desk there and that there. And then if they need to then go on to examine them, uh, there is going to be more of a space over this side of the, of the of the room even to do that. But to be honest with you, this is still pretty huge, isn't it? So I'm actually going to shrink this down a little bit and we'll use this little space here for a janitor's closet. All right. So what we'll do is we'll put that there. Let's bring a little wall across. There we go. And then if we go back to this here, we can go to cleaning closet like that. Perfect. And then we'll worry about that in a moment. We're not going to do that just now. First of all, we need to get the GP's office finished, okay? So let's click into here and see what we need. So we need some sort of sink, uh, but also we're going to have some sort of cabinet counters. So uh, we have an equipment cabinet, pretty tall. Let's have one of those at the back there. And then just sort of like a regular... Uh, here, cabinet with door, there we go. So we'll have two of those and one of those next to it. We can't actually see them, unfortunately, but we know they're there. We know they're there. And then above them, actually, we'll have some, we'll, we'll put some over here as well. Um, there we go. We've got this nice blue color that they've got selected at the moment, which is pretty neat. Okay. So somewhere we have to have a sink, so we'll have a sink over on that side. We need an eye test, so we'll have an eye test here by the door that they can, from that seat they can kind of have a bit of a go at it, okay. Uh, biohazard uh, trash bin, we'll get one of those uh, kind of by the sink really, isn't it? Paper holder, um, it's mandatory equipment, um, or the printer is an also, is it, okay, so we've got a printer already. Examination lamp. Uh, we'll get one of those in there. There's a there's a one that goes on the room the wall as well, but I quite like that one. Um, and then there's a few bits of equipment we can have here, just to kind of speed up the whole situation, really. So we'll have those in there. That's good. And then I think we need a little bit of something here to make the place look nice. So we'll have a clock on the wall, a little plant to be nice. Where can we get a plant in here without it looking too ridiculous? Maybe up that corner. Yeah. Okay. Happy with that. And then. 
Uh, we'll get a poster on the ball too. And that's all outside stuff. That doesn't count. That, that's painting. We don't have to worry about those. Uh, instead, though, let's go to floors and we'll head up for a nice blue check, I think, for this floor. There we go. I just realized we've got quite a nice laminate here. Do I prefer that? I think I prefer that to the other one we got. Um, so let's just put that into place here. Good. And then eventually we'll have just a bit of a easily mop cleanable floor there. Okay. Pattern top, pattern, there we go. Let's do something like this here, just to kind of give the walls a bit of a variation. And a door on this as well. Uh, restricted access door. Um, or just a regular door. Let's just do a regular door. Let's get a bit of a darker colour. There we go. And then what do we need to go into here? We basically need that. That's it. That's all we need in there. And what's going to happen is that the uh, the guys are going to come and grab that. But we're going to have a bit more stuff in here as well. We'll uh, oops. We'll have a one of these bigger sinks. I know it's a lab sink, but it still it kind of makes me look like feel like a bit of a mucky uh, sink that they keep oil and stuff under. You know, random stuff like that. And a random shelf with some stuff on. We've got to have a few of those, haven't we? Supplies, loo rolls, that kind of thing, and a, and a big old bin there as well. Okay, cool. So there's our GP's office. So what's this telling me here? Um, nothing in particular. I think it's telling me that it's got a bit of a clipping issue with this sign, but I'm going to go for it, okay, and see if we get on all right with it. So if we click down here to our... Eventually, we've got a GP's office. So uh, it's saying that we've got zero of one. I assume that's because... Ah, we have missing equipment. Why do we not have equips in here then? Paper hot Ah, the printer is not accessible. I'm guessing because of that. So let's move that and place it above the bin. And has that fixed the problem for us? Yes, we now have a GP's office, but we need a GP to go into it. So hire doctors. Let's have a look. General medicine, three, two, one, and four. So Frank Miller, you're pretty good. You've got a good. You've got very good diagnosis as well. Yeah, you are. You are the guy for us, Frank. So you pop down there. Uh, we'll also get a janitor on the go as well. Efficiency and dexterity. Um, efficiency, I'm going to go for it. If, yeah, Frank Cole, just because you look the part, Frank. There we go. Um, and let's go back to live mode. And I think he's going to have a little potter out there now, hopefully find some stuff to do. We now have a doctor doing some stuff. Um, do we have to open or are we open let's have a look do we have anybody coming in I can't remember what we did last time to actually get people in here is he coming up to clean up this the rubbishy floor here that would be pretty sweet if he is treat a patient yeah doctor's rounds yeah we're open look it's 832 where are you going going home Maybe we've just got nothing to do. Frank Miller. Nothing to do. Huh. Is there something we have to do? To actually get people in. Clinic opening hours start. The clinic is now open. Yes, I know. So why aren't, isn't anyone coming in? We're on the day shift. Huh, was there something I had to do last night? Are we still missing stuff? Is that the problem? Uh, see, it's saying here that this is a waiting room. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe maybe you have to be classed as a waiting room and not a reception. Hospital now accepts patients. There we go. Yes, so although that was a reception, the actual seats have to be over there so we'll also have uh, a little bit of a waiting room here okay and then you can just be classed as corridor although I don't really understand why we have to class a corridor I'm sure there's reasons for it later on let's do that okay um, and then in this waiting room let's get some more benches like so and I guess the corridor down here can have a couple more vending machines. It's all about it's all about getting that money in. 
There we go, Info TV up there to say who's been seen. So this here, Q Machine works together with one or more Info TVs. In a waiting room, this system provides smoother patient flow to adjacent GP's offices. So let, can we do that? No, that's not working down there, is it? Look. How about... How about we get rid of that, that bench and stick a nice plant in there instead? Hmm. I haven't quite figured out what I'm doing here. But coffee table in between there and there. Whoops. Yeah. There we go. I'll get rid of you. And a couple of posters. I think they're not working because they're above a coffee table. But to be honest with you, we're just putting those for show, aren't we, really? We'll have a little cacti on there and there. Okay. Okay. Is that now bringing in patients? Let's see. Yes. I'm hoping that you're not just wandering past. There we go. Fraser Cole. Wait, hold on a minute. You just look like Frank Cole. Perhaps brothers. Maybe that's why Frank couldn't work. He was just like, no. I just can't. I can't be here because I know my brother's poorly. I know he's ill. Okay, so five hidden symptoms. So come on in then, Frank. Uh, Fraser, excuse me. So you're going to go to the receptionist. Now you're just going to go and sit straight down, are you? Right. And the doctors come. To get you. Right, okay. So what does the receptionist do then? This time he's got to sit... Ah, uh, see, he, she's used the machine there. So, let's find out what this means then. You, you've been given, you've got golfer's elbow. Okay, off you pop. She's gone the low, that's fine, you can go the low. So, yeah, doctor still had to come out and get people. Next patient. Huh. I wonder if there's some sort of like workflow that we have to set up. We have to tell people where to go and what to do. Uh, Fraser Cole's done anyway. What's up with Kate Jackson? Um, you've got chronic fatigue, so um, exercise and antidepressants. Somebody pointed out that exercise is the best thing for chronic fatigue, so I didn't know that. Um... Yeah, look, she's down here on the computer. I mean, to come all the way out here, look. Hmm. I always feel like that should be a receptionist's job, you know? Can we, do we have to set up, um, we have to, like, link them up? Dismiss. Select department. No, okay, so let's have a look here, then. Uh... Our rooms, right? We have we have two waiting rooms. We have a reception, uh, department budget. Okay, so reception, waiting room, GP's office. Yeah. If they meet, so yeah. Okay, low hazard. Ah, medium high hazard goes to the reception. Medium high hazard. Reception. Low hazard. Just go straight to the... So if there's nothing up with you, you genuinely just go and sit down and wait. Hmm, that's weird. Um, okay. Chief Doctor adds daily bonuses to the staff on respective departments. Choose wisely. Yeah, Frank Miller, you're our chief GP. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, we have no... It's telling me no emergency patients. Clinic. General surgery. Radiology. Huh. Unlocked by insurance company objective. So that's the next thing we need to be really looking at then. Is this uh, insurance company objectives? Well, ha, ha, that's quite tricky to say. Uh, budget. Uh, we have... We've made money. Wow, okay. Cool, we're on the up and up. Can we, go, can we get playing here? Sorry. Statistics. Anonymous hospital. Where do we name our hospital? I want to name our hospital. Uh, departments. Yep. That's good. Insurance. Here we go. So treat 10 patients a day. 
Um, a, a thousand, a ten grand government grant. So currently we have treated two of two. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we kind of just sit and wait then and see how we get on because I don't think at the moment there's many other buildings we can build. We need to get a common room and a, uh, a common room really is, is important. And maybe a second GP's office as well. That would be good to kind of help with workflow and um, help with people coming in. Yeah, come in over here. Yeah, come on in. That seems really a bad way of doing it. I, I wonder if I'm missing something there. Let me know if you think I am. Or maybe that's just how it works. Let me know if when you go to the doctors, the doctor comes out of the room. Because for me, like you, the, the receptionist or one of these screens or something tells you to go in. It seems strange that she's not really doing anything. Apart from urinating past herself. Huh. Okay. Alright, well. Let's get some more foundations on the go. Build mode. Uh, basic foundations. Let's carry on. Did we come right down? I think we probably come down this way, you know. To here. All right, and then we're going to have that nice laminate floor carry on this way. Uh, oh, no, not that much. Ooh, okay, let's just get rid of that. There we go. Take away that bit of wall there. Good. All right, and these. Needs to get moved to here. Good. At the moment, we're just using regular walls here, aren't we? So put those in. Start off with. We'll put our nice uh, outside wall there. Good stuff. Okay, back to the floor. Where's that nice floor we've got? Comes down all the way to here. Uh, oh, by the way, off camera, I uh, I did re I had a re-go at this. I thought the flowers were a bit too much, so we toned them right down, um, and there we just have uh, something a bit more a bit more subtle. That's what we like, a bit of subtlety. Right, let's get back to here, and uh, let's have a look here. Common room. Um, I'm going to go, I feel like I should carry the corridor, I think we're doing the corridor three, aren't we? So one, two, three, let's carry that corridor down just in case we need it. And we'll do just a small corridor, okay, pretty small one. And then we'll click in here and see what we need, but let's put some walls up first. Uh, let's get rid of that wall. All right, and then we'll carry on that Oh, let's laminate it down. Yes, you can be a corridor. That's good. Uh, walls. There we go. And you can be maybe a little stat lab. I really don't know how big a stat lab has to be. We'll, it, we'll treat it as like an, an office-y kind of space, you know. So door-wise, let's get a couple of regular doors here and here. All right. And then in the floor, kind of like a like a red red floor, really. Something like... Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Okay, so what do you need? Uh, a dining table, good, uh, with chairs around it. Okay, you also need a sofa, so good. This is going to be a small sofa, so good. So let's put you there. TV has to go on something. A fridge. Okay, so let's do a little cook. Let's do a little kitchen space here then. Um, I mean, it's going to be little, but you can have stuff above you as well. There we go. Kitchen sink there. Radio. Oh, you, can, you don't really work very well there, do you? Coffee table, I guess, can have a TV on it. There we go. Uh, locker is a decoration. Right, we won't worry about lockers here then. In fact, could we get lockers on the outside? Like as if this is like a staff-only area. Oh, we wouldn't have that many staff though, would we? Um, I'll tell you where one of these would go pretty good in here yeah I like it okay so there's a little staff room that's pretty good I'd be happy with that as a staff room maybe get a little uh, little plant in there little trash can let's have a look 
Um, a warming cabinet? What on earth is one of those? Oh, that's like some, uh, that's something doctory, isn't it? Um, where's those, where's the little trash cans? Here we go. It's all in alphabetical order, look. No, it's not. Um, maybe does that not count? That's classed as biohazard? Is it here then? T trash trash trash. Huh. Yeah, here, yeah, trash bin. Ugh. Took me ages to find that. Uh, oh, it's they they're not centered squared, are they? There we go, that's better. Right next to there. Okay, cool. So we've got a little uh just a little common room, little staff room there. And then this let's have a look at doing a stat lab unlocked by insurance companies oh so we can't do a stat lab yet all right well the space is there so okay let's go back to live let's speed it up a little bit um she's going to get something to eat she's had something to eat she's coming back to work i say work i have genuinely no idea what her job is it's three o'clock have we done treat 10 patients a day i don't think we have i think we treated about four or five does it say anywhere Insurance company cheaper care can be contracted to send patients. Maybe that's what we need to do, but I part perk revealed. Looks like character has the following perk. People person. Awesome. Good job, Frank. Is that is that you, Frank? Yeah, Frank Miller. You're a people person. I love it. You're very hungry and you're very and you need a wee more than life. So you go in there, get yourself some food, that's good. And you're gonna go and use the bathroom as well. And is that is that it for the day? Yeah, going to finish some paperwork. And they work until 8. That's pretty good. I mean, you, but you can go home, to be honest with you. There's no, no point in you hanging around. Can we can we change the shifts, then? Let's have a look, see if we can change the shifts, because there really is no point in you sitting here all day. Uh, okay. Insurance companies, departments, departments. Emergency department. Uh, oh, six we uh, we cured then. That's not bad. Here, statistics. Last day treated six. Good. Okay, budget. Nothing we can do there. Ambulance we don't have yet. So we can now do cheaper care. So let's do that. And that'll send us more people. That gives us the stat lab if we treat 15 patients in a day. Right, so whether or not the GP will get 15 in the day, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this uh, this time seems to be a little bit of a waste. Day shift. How do I adjust that? Either open the clinic or let's get rid of all those. See, he's just hanging around, look. Yeah, he's going now. Good night. Um, does it super speed up when there's nobody in? Yeah, it does. I mean, really, I'd like to go skip nights. There we go. And straight on till morning. Although we still have to kind of wait a little bit. Yeah, so what we need to do, really, is either say that we're open till 8, which I think is a pretty impressive time. I'd be, I'd be very chuffed if my local GPs was open till 8 o'clock at night. Um... Or send the send the doctors home at five because if that's what time the 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 shift is the clinic shift is then it's kind of useless so I can't without without doing it I don't know hmm don't seem to be any though or maybe maybe it's in here maybe we'll have to go into here and have a look but at the moment it's half three in the morning this would be good if it just kind of completely skips this seems a little bit uh, wasteful. I mean, eventually, with a full hospital up and running that goes 24-7, I get it. I do love the fact there's a night cycle, though. Um, again, it's not something I've seen in this kind of game before. Okay, it's morning now, look. Right, so it's 7 a.m. The day shift should start, so who's coming in? Okay, here she comes. Doctor's coming in, too. All right, so let's have a look at this, then. Here we go. Day, night, shift. Staff day and night. Okay, so can we pop that out? There we go. So Frank Miller. How do we 
employee. Look, there's nobody. That's the problem. It's saying there's nobody there. Look, nobody on. Free area accessible to both staff and patients. Staff only area. Oh, that's interesting. Restricted area. Remove rooms. Set up value of certainty, which will be used to confirm diagnosis. Doctors one, receptionist one, janitors one. Department department dress code doesn't look like it's in. Oh no, don't close the apartment. Um, staff department budget. So it doesn't seem like there is a way. Insurance company. It doesn't seem like there. Hospitalization. Ah. No, clinic I'm worried about. I'm not worried about hospitalisation. We have waiting rooms, we have GPs, we have restaurants. So we, apart from the stat room, which isn't unlocked yet. Hmm. No, I can't, I can't see a, a way of doing that then. So really, you just got to pull your finger out. Maybe people will turn up. Let's have a look. Eight o'clock. Right. Doctor's rounds. We're not worried about that. Clinic is open now till 6. Alright. And here they come. Three patients. One, two, three. Oh no, two patients and a janitor. Janitor's in work. That's awesome. So he's doing his thing. Okay. Right. Patients are coming in thick and fast. That's good. Let's see if we actually get some of them treated. I'd love to see on the screen. Uh, there it is. One of one treated today. And it's 9 o'clock. So that took us about an hour. So if each patient takes about an hour, oh my god, imagine the wait. There's a, this is a long wait, we need a second GP, I think. Yeah, a second GP is definitely going to help us out. Maybe even two more GPs, I think. To be fair, the one I go to, the, the, lo the local GP to us, there is like four doctors. Three or four doctors, most days. Um, yeah, absolutely no way in hell that you are going to get through all of those... As good as you are, Frank. Right, let's get a couple more GPs offices set up. So, foundation, build foundation. Let's go off of here. We'll do um, that. We'll have that as a corridor, and then we'll have that. Uh, five, one, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Um, okay, we'll stick some walls in here. Uh, five, three, and that's an outside wall, so there. Okay. Lob you off there. Good. So, so I'm starting to, starting to figure out the flow of everything now. Uh, our corridor can continue up there. There we go. And then GP's office one and two. All right. Uh, okay, so let's see if we can put these both together. Let's get. Let's see if we can fill out two of them at once. We'll get some doors in. Okay, let's go for white doors. I think they look better. So we'll go there and there. Now they're both accessible. We'll get. Let's do floors as well. I want the floors to remain looking spot on. Love this laminate floor, and that's lovely. Uh, this one here. Can't quite remember what colour we've got in here. Is it that one? Looks like it's that one. Okay. Remember. Bear in mind, I do struggle a little with colours, so sorry about that. Um, Okay, stuff for GP. Here we go. Let's go exam table. We'll pretty much do these identical, or as identical as we can. We'll have biohazard bin and biohazard bin. Let's get some cabinets in. Let's not go for blue this time. Let's just go for regular black. Oops, there. We'll pop a sink onto both of those. There we go. Desks, of course. Um, desk and desk. Chair for the patient. Chair for the, oops. Chair for the doctor. Computer for the doctor. Printer for the doctor. <clears throat> Med lights in both of these. Let's go for the these ones. There we go. Um, I think we definitely need 
some equipment in here. So we'll have you uh, like so. Oh yeah, we need an eye test. Let's have you on the wall at the back there. Okay, and then we'll have, where's the, we'll have an equipment cabinet on each of you and then a couple of regular cabinets as well. Or just one, and then we can have a little bit of equipment. Then you see doing some cool stuff. Uh, that's oh, that's the one we need, isn't it? That blood one. There we go. Okay. Um, I think. I think that's everything. Let's have one of them in there just to make it look the part. What does this thing go on? I'd never figure out where that goes. I think it needs chairs around it. I think these all need chairs around them actually. So, but for now they look good, don't they? So let's get those up and running. Let's hire some staff. <clears throat> uh, general and diagnosis is what we're looking for. Yeah, Sarah, you're pretty good. You can go in that one. And uh, general to diagnosis to um, David White can go in that one. Okay, so let's hire. Let's get you up and running. And there, do you all get spread out? Perfect. We've instantly tripled our um, our workflow. We are massively in the red. We're <laughs> thirty-one grand in debt. But you know what? We're playing this like the NHS, so that works perfectly. But hopefully. The receptionist is still doing absolutely nothing, but this will hopefully get through to treating some of these people. Let's have a look. Where are we? Seven of seven. I think we're probably a little late in the day <clears throat> to really fix the problem. We'll def oh, we'll get the ten in a day. Will we? Yeah, pretty much all seen. Objective complete. There we go. We get a ten grand reward, so now we're only twenty grand in debt. And actually, that number went in even less, so it looks like we are actually... In the uh, in the green, let's have a look. Yeah, we're earning money. Okay, so wages um, tick up. So it looks like wages is our only outgoing. We could be on for a win here, although we're not. Doesn't look like we're going to get through everyone. We might get those fifteen done in a day. That gives us the stat room. So that's probably what we'll end up doing in the next episode. We'll ed we'll head that said that we'll set that sat lab up is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop those down in the comments. I've just realised that at five o'clock people stop coming in, but we're open till eight, so these last few get served. Perfect. Oh. No clear diagnosis. Consider any more diagnostic equipment in laboratories or radiology rooms. The patient will leave soon. Okay, sorry, Dana, you're not well, I know. So that, ah, uh, yeah, clinic closes at six. No, they still leave, look. Oh, well, never mind. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help at the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop those down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.